Dante awakens suddenly to the sound of thunder and wailing. He is at the edge of a deep, dark valley or abyss. Dante and Virgil descend into the blind world and enter the first circle of hell, limbo. A multitude of people sigh sorrowfully, but are not tormented. Virgil explains, those in this circle did not sin, but they were not baptized, so they cannot enter heaven and must live in longing. Some of these are people who lived before Christianity, including Virgil himself. Dante is moved to pity. Virgil tells him that a great lord came to Limbo soon after Virgil's arrival, wearing a crown, and took to heaven Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, David, Rachel, and many others. Homer, Horace, Ovid, and Lucan, all poets, welcome Virgil back to Limbo. Dante is honored to meet these great thinkers. The six poets enter a castle grounds encircled by seven walls with seven portals. Inside, reaching a great meadow, Dante sees many great-hearted souls, scientists, mathematicians, philosophers, leaders, heroes, and so many more. Dante follows Virgil out of the castle grounds and into the darkness. Virgil has so far seemed less emotional than Dante, who has been conflicted by emotions of fear, pity, curiosity, and hope. Virgil is now showing more of a human side, feeling compassion for those in this circle of hell. He explains that those here did not sin but simply lived before Christian baptism was available, and therefore did not worship God in fitting ways. For no other evil, he says, we have no hope, and yet we live in longing. Dante asks Virgil to confirm a point of church doctrine, which said that after his death, Christ went into hell and took some of those there to heaven. The people Virgil names, Noah, Abraham, David, Rachel, and the rest, are the faithful of the Old Testament. Those who exist in limbo are not really punished, other than being separated from God with no hope of ever entering his presence. There are many there who enjoy lasting honor in the land of the living, dignified persons who live in a castle surrounded by a meadow that is filled with light and who speak with gentle voices. In calling himself the sixth among the great poets, Dante associates himself with them, and thus with the classical literary tradition. He carries their torch, since he is a Christian poet and can be saved.